Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new release. Actually, it's a re-release. It's an old Richard Griffin movie made in 2007, uh, Splatter Disco. Yeah, well, uh, Shaco Rama Cinema is actually re-releasing this. Uh, this was out uh, back in 2007, but uh, the single edition kind of went out of print, so uh, if you wanted the commentary or anything like that, it was pretty hard to find. But yeah, let me get into this. Richard Griffin is a pretty prolific indie horror director. He's done a none of that. Dis Disco Exorcist, Exhumed, Frankenstein's, uh, what is that, Bloody Wax Museum of the Dead, Sins of Dracula. The guy makes about four movies a year, and uh, usually I dig pretty much all the stuff he does. He uh, makes a lot of fun movies with lots of bright colors and usually uses the same cast. Uh, this one's a bit different. This actually stars some, uh, I guess, name recognition in the horror movie genre as Ken Forey, Debbie Rashan, Trent Haga, and Lynn Lowry. So that's kind of cool. I love Ken Forey. Who doesn't love Ken Forey? Dawn of the Dead, you know, from beyond, among other things. But yeah, essentially what we have here is uh, kind of a strange movie, to be honest. It also stars, let's go back into some of the, some of the regulars. Uh, Sarah Nicklin is in there, and uh, I can't think of the guy who plays the mayor's name, but he appears in Creature of Hillbilly Lagoon and stuff. And uh, so it's nice to see kind of a family come together once again to make an independent movie. But uh, this plot's pretty crazy. Uh, Trent Haga and his father, Ken Forey, yep, they run uh, uh, this uh, kinky nightclub where they have these different fetish nights. And there's a lot of furries there and SNM and just bizarre kind of parties that are thrown. Uh, of course, the town has a moral compass and they want the, the, the kink bar gone. They don't like it. Uh, Essentially what happens here is that there's kind of a, the political, uh, you know, behind the scenes trying to get rid of the club. Meanwhile, there's a, a mad slasher going around killing people, all mixed in with kind of musical numbers and a bizarre love story. Uh, yeah. So it, it's it's out there. Uh, it's not as pretty or as uh, technically as good as his later stuff. I believe that's just because, you know, as uh, filmmakers progress, they get better at that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the cameras were uh, cheaper nowadays and it's a better picture quality than they did in 2007. Uh, the mid-2000s and early 2000s was kind of a strange time for independent film because a lot of it shot on digital. And, uh, you know, it just can't look as crisp as it does now, which is kind of strange because it's not film. It's not HD. It's right in that middle spot. I'm not sure if this was shot in HD or not, but uh, it doesn't look as good as his other films. Uh, so there's that, but uh, it still does have the bright colors and his kind of, uh, you know, uh, sense of humor that I've come to enjoy in films. But uh, this one, it, it's a mixed bag for me. I, I do find some of the jokes cute and quirky. Uh, the music in the movie, uh, I like it kind of to a certain extent. Uh, you know, Poltergeist has music as well. Uh, some of it's uh, really quirky, and it kind of grows on you, I will say. The first time I thought it, I was like, oh, that is dangerously cheesy at points. And it's kind of supposed to be. But uh, the second, third time I heard it, when I listened to the commentary, I kind of uh, grew to uh, catch some of the songs to be catchy. Uh, the one about uh, Let's Fall in Love, that's a, that's a nice little gimmick song. And it actually has a dance number. In a low-budget film, you don't ever see dance numbers done, which uh, i got to give respect for that. But uh, Ken Forey is is good in it. He's having fun. I like to see that. Debbie Rashawn always seems to have fun in the newer movies. And, uh, you know, uh, Trent Haga is always a pretty solid actor as well. And Lynn Lowry gets to play something a little bit different than she's used to. So that's nice. So Sarah Nicklin shines in the role as she always does. And I actually enjoyed her love angle with uh, the I can't, Jason uh, McCormick, the actor. So uh, I, I enjoyed that love story. Uh, oh, no, I, I don't think it's his best work. I think it's okay, but I think it's unique, which is really cool. Uh, the DVD has a behind the scenes 30 minutes or so, which is nice to look at. And they talk about making the, Richard Griffin talks about making the main characters the most likable which I enjoyed. Uh, there's some nice gimmicks with the furry suits as well in here. I should probably mention that. Uh, the ears going down, the tail getting mad, stuff like that. Lots of weird fetish characters. Uh, but yeah, and there's also uh, a commentary, which was nice to hear with Lynn Lowry, Richard Griffin, and a bunch of other the cast and crew. And uh, there's a bunch of trailers on here as well, and some uh, deleted extended scenes. As for the splatter in here, I'm thinking with the extended scene, there is an elongated uh, murder scene in here. The splatter is fairly decent. There's just not as much as you would think for a movie called Splatter Disco. It's kind of a hodgepodge of different uh, genres mixed up. And, you know, it's it's a fun ride. And if you know uh, Richard Griffin, you should enjoy it because it's 100% uh, it's Richard Griffin. Uh, I'm Mr. Parka. This one should be out uh, very shortly, if not if it's not already re-released. Uh, and have a good one. Stop peeping into everyone's damn keyholes and pay more attention to your own damn problems. <laughs> Here in the town of Westerly, a moral firestorm has been started over a nightclub called 
the den of iniquity. It's that nightclub. Whatever goes on behind those doors is nothing but harmless fun. Things get any worse. Will you be my boyfriend? I like to be spanked. The cheese dries on there and it just never comes out. We have three people missing and we don't have a single clue. You're a perverted little boy with a dirty mind. That kid is not here to that cheese log. It's showtime! Furries!